Now, artificial sweeteners are also a problem. We have sucralose, aspartame, which people know, and saccharin. But they are all associated with causing diabetes. And what they do is they disrupt the bacteria in the gut, and those bacteria begin to create diabetes. It's kind of strange. Uh, and, but that's what we're talking about. Now, aspartame particularly gives you, but I'm going to say MSG, gives you very poor, it disrupts glucose regulation in the system. That's the key thing. Um, so, the result, we have obesity, blood sugar imbalances, and I'm going to also say it's associated with hypothalamic dysfunction. I mentioned that earlier, but the hypothalamus is like your master gland. It's like, oh, uh, we don't want to disrupt that. Okay? So, all these things disrupt the gut, you know, they, they, they disrupt the gut, gut bacteria and cause lots of problems. Okay, now diet BDs. This is Diet Coke, okay? And what we're looking at is a kind of an overview. So you have one can per soda per week, it's going to increase your rate of diabetes by 33%. Two cans, 50%. And diet soda increases it more than that, over 15% higher. That's the, low, that's the lowest amount. So we got to get diet BDs is even worse than regular soda. Okay, that's the main point I'm making. Uh, <laughs> women who drink, you know, 50 ounces of diet soda increase the risk by 60%. So I said somewhere between 15 and 60% we see increase. So diet soda really does make things worse, okay? And aspartame makes it worse as well. Now, there are different estimates. Like Dr. Uh, Lustwick is saying <coughs> people who do soft drinks are 10 times more likely to get diabetes. That's in the high end of it. But clearly, you do increase your rate of getting type 2 diabetes. That is for sure, OK? Um, other studies, you know, at Cambridge, 25,000 people. For every 5% increase in calories per day, you're going to get 18% increase. So that's not going to give you that 1,000% increase. So there's a range. And when you decrease soft drinks, you're going to decrease your rates of diabetes. So, it, you know, it isn't, you're getting my point here. I'm not trying to argue about a statistic. I'm going to talk about a trend, which is the best way we can talk about it. You're going to have sodas or diet sodas. You're going to increase your rates of getting diabetes by a significant amount. That's the main take home of that story. Um, if you just have one ounce, one 12 ounce can daily versus once a month, you're going to increase your rate by 22%. Well, that's just in the range. It's interesting to note that food stamps are used because they can get that statistic, uh, give you about $4 billion of soft drinks a day. So we see how that's not so good. In some countries, they're regulating things so people who are getting government subsidies aren't allowed to do that. It's pretty obvious what the reason is. Governments can't afford the cost of diabetes, okay? So somewhere between 25 and a, uh, and a thousand percent increase with soft drinks, uh, and basically the estimate from soft drinks, about 184,000 people die each year. So it's not a winner.